Hello everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to draw anything with the cube style. So let's get started. To start with, I have imported a reference here. If you go to the wrench tool under canvas, we have reference which I have turned on and I have imported a picture of a hamburger here to use as a reference. And then in this brushes tool, I'm going to take a sketching brush and I'm going to get started with the sketching. To let you know, my canvas is at this moment 4200 width wide and 3200 pixel uh, height with a DPI of 300 and the color profile is RGB. So we start by sketching. I'm first going to select a gray color then I will pick a sketching brush that is and the brush library under sketching I'm picking a technical pencil. Now I'll start by sketching out the basic shapes and I'll start with the hamburger buns. And this looks to be like a semicircle and half of a circle. So that's what I'm going to draw. This bottom bit as well. Now, if you are not happy with the shape, what you can do is you can go to selection tool, you can select this, and then you can move things around, you can pull it down a little bit or pull it up and position it in the way you want. You can even change the size. So I feel like the bottom bun is bigger, so I'm going to select this, take the transform tool and reduce the size a bit. In order to know more about these tools, you can refer my video on 10 tips on Procreate to get more understanding of all the tools on Procreate. Now I want to sh uh, shape the burgers a little bit more. So I'm going to go to this magic wand tool here. I'm going to take the uh, liquify tool and this is like magic for sure so what you want to do is so I have kept it as push and I'm taking like this much size as somewhere in the middle 50 percent and I'm going to push things around to shape it in the way I want so I'm going to flatten the top a little bit take out the sides a little bit here I feel like this is a bit disbalanced so now I'm going to draw the patties at this moment I'm just sketching all the shape not going to you know create different layers while coloring I'm going to create different layers and I'll show you how to do this easily for now I just want to for now I just want to draw out the basic shapes I'm going to make the pattern and then I see there is some letters so and the letter sticks out so I'm just going to make my life easier and I'm just going to draw some scraggly lines during coloring we are going to clean this up so don't worry about it at this point and then I do see a tomato as well so I'm going to draw a half circle here have got the basic shapes of the hamburger ready now I if you have seen my other tutorials I usually create a layer on top and ink it but this time around I'm directly going to paint this and later we are going to ink in some details so for that I'm just creating I'm putting this layer on top of the layer and now we have one layer underneath this layer so I'll first start with the hamburger bun. This is a brown color so I can just color pick it from the image. I'm just going to take a darker color and 
I'm going to take the monoline brush. Let me increase the size a bit. Then we are going to smoothly draw out the shape which I have already sketched out. And I'm filling it up. I'm going to do the same for this one as well. Now I'm going to create a layer below this layer. So I'm creating a new layer and I'm pulling this layer on top so that I can draw out the other filling for the burger. Yellowish color. I'm still sticking to the same monoline brush. For the cheese, again, I'm going to create another layer below this layer. I'm taking a more yellow color because it's cheese. Now I'm going to color in the meat patty again same way i'm creating another layer below this i'm going to take a dark brown color here i'm color picking from the reference photo to somewhere here it's a dark red color and saturated red and i'm just going to fill it up we are going to add texture later so we don't have to worry about it now for the lettuce bit, since the lettuce is on top of the below bun, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this layer on top of everything. Take a green color, which I'm color picking from the lettuce. But I want it to be a bit more green. So I'm pushing it, pushing it a bit on the side. And then Now I'm creating one more layer on top and I'm going to paint in the red tomato. Again I'm color picking the red and zooming in a little bit so that I can paint the tomato. We have the basic colors done. At this point you can go ahead and turn off the sketch layer. And we are going to add the shadows. First, what we are going to do is let's be on the bun layer and then we are going to turn on the alpha lock. First, we are going to color pick the color of the bun. We are going to shift the colors a little bit. What that means is you select this, take this circle and push it either down or up. I am pushing it down to a more your red or color and also I'm going to take a darker color so I'll go down like this so I have a darker color and I have shifted the hue a little bit and now I'm going to take some kind of texture for texture I'm going to the sketching brush and then I'm taking this option in the end called the artist crayon and I'm taking a size like somewhere around here and I'm going to first paint the edges of the burger bun and since I have my alpha lock on, it will stay within the lines. I'm using a very light hand here so that, so that I can slowly fade out the, uh, the shapes or the, or the texture that I'm drawing. I'm going to make it darker towards the edge and lighter towards the top. I'm doing the same for the bun below. Now I'm going to pick a highlight color here. So I had, again I'll go back and select the base color 
last time when we were painting the shadows we shifted the hue to this side this time we are going to shift the hue to this side and we took a darker color this time but we are going to take a lighter color so we are going to push up and go a bit on the lighter side somewhere around here and we are going to keep the same brush and paint in some light I'm going to repeat the same process in each of these layers. So, first I'm going to the back D layer, color picking it, shifting the hue a little bit, making it a bit darker, taking the artist crayon, maybe reducing it a little bit. Because the texture of the patty is a bit different, it's bright. I just decided to change the I'm going to take a different brush here for the texture so I'm going under texture and I'm taking this brush color rectangle because you see these lines here I want to create a similar effect I'm going to alpha lock this layer first I want to add a bit of orange colors here as well, more redder colors. So I'm going to shift the hue a little bit more, take a more saturated color and add a bit of that here. And to paint in the highlights, I'm again going to shift the hue in the opposite direction. I'm going to take a lighter color. Since it's not lighter enough, so I'm going to shift a little bit more. I'm going to take a lighter, more lighter color. I'm going to paint in some lights. I still feel like it really needs a little bit more shadow. So I'm going to go back to my history and I'm going to take a dark color. I'm going to go through the same process. I'm going to color pick this base color, shift it here, make it darker, make it more saturated, and then I'm going to paint this color. Still feel it needs to be darker because there is a shadow created by the bun on this patty, so this needs to be a lot darker. Time to paint the cheese. I'm going back to the cheese layer. Same process, taking the alpha lock. Then I'm going to color pick the color of the cheese. Take a bit of darker color, shifting it, making it more saturated. But cheese is more smooth, so I need to change the brush. We don't want that much texture. So I'm going to the painting section. I'm selecting the round brush. And I'll start painting the shadows. The shadow will be right below the top patty. Then right here where one cheese meets the other. To create more shadows, I'm just going to shift it a little bit more make it more dark and then paint the shadows painting out the shadows a little bit more just where the patty is meeting the cheese it will cast a shadow and where the cheese slices are open Now I'll paint the highlight as well. First, let me select the base color. 
shift it a little bit take a lighter color going to the meat layer now on the lock selecting the base color this is going to be really dark as you see it the meat is already dark so this shadow parts will be really dark i'm going to shift it a little bit but i'm going to take the nearly black color for the meat i'm going to the painting section i'm taking this brush called stucco it has a bit meaty texture so this is going to help i'm just going to paint below the uh, cheese slices first for the shadows and also at the bottom and do a highlights so yeah I'm going to color sheet on side go up time for the lettuce I'm going to the lettuce layer First, I'm going to clean out the edges a little bit. This, this bit, I see some gaps here, so I'm going to take the same color, fill in the gaps. Okay. Now, I'll fill up this layer. I'm going to take a really dark green, so I'm shifting this side. I'm going to the organic section this time and I'm picking wild grass. And I'm going to paint some shadows in the lettuce. Just creating some abstract shapes at this point. And then with the highlights, so I'm shifting the color again. So I'm going to this side, taking a lighter color. Going back to the tomato layer. First, I'm going to clean out the shape. I'm taking an eraser. Now I'm going to alpha lock this layer. Take the base color of the tomato. Go dark. I'm going to alpha lock the tomato layer. I'm taking the brown brush from the painting section because tomatoes are smoother and I'm going to paint the shadows. So the shadows will be under the patty from both the sides. And then again color picking the base color, shifting in the opposite direction, taking a lighter more saturated color and I'm going to paint it some highlights. Our hamburger is ready. At this point, you can stop, but I'm going to go ahead and add in a few more details. So I'm going to create a layer on top. First, I'm going to take this white color and paint in some sesame seeds. First, I'm going to pinch and merge all these layers together. So I'm going to take layer five to seven pinch and merge. So I have the full burger on one layer and I've created a layer on top of that. I'm going to set this layer as clipping mask. Now I'm going to the elements brush and there is one brush called driven snow. I'm going to take that and I'm just going to paint here which will give an illusion of the sesame seeds. I'm going to reduce the size of the brushes a little bit. I'm going to add a few details in, uh, a few darker lines to make it pop. So I'm going to the drawing section, sketching section, taking the 6B pencil. I'm going to take a really dark color, almost black at this point. And I'm going to draw in these pages. I 
and to tie everything together I'm going to paint a background first I'm going to select the background color and to make it a bit gray okay I want it in the blue side a bluish gray then I'm going to create a layer on top of the background color so to below the below the barber oops the mask is off so come to the background layer I'm going to paint in some shadows taking grayish blue color and I want to go back and take this oil pastel from the sketching section increase the size of the brush Then I'm going to take the yellow color, lighter color, and I'm going to paint it light. I feel here the definition is missing a little bit, so I'm going to go back to the skin ink mask layer. I'm going to get take the same dark brown color which I picked. I'm going to go back to the same brush. Six pixels. And there you have it, a semi-realistic burger using a reference photo. You can use the same techniques to create anything you want. Use a reference photo and get it in this particular style. If you like my tutorials, please consider liking and subscribing to this to my channel. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.